Tag 7 und damit ein letztes Mal. It's day 7 and the final edition of the Liebherr Baumer Video Magazine 2022. And we'll start right away with this little fellow here. This hook belongs to the LR 12500 1.0, a 2500 ton crawler crane. Unfortunately, it was a bit too big for the trade fair, but the hook alone gives you an idea of its size. Get a load of this. This is our new LR12500 1.0. If you're a professional and you look at this crane, you'll still see certain changes. We see a super wide boom. We call it the high performance boom. Not only is it wide and therefore able to carry incredible loads, it can also be cleverly and simply folded up and transported. Building big wide things that can't be transported from A to B afterwards, anyone can do that. Here, it's cleverly folded up and loaded onto lorries. And that's why the crane is also known as the Game Changer. And the crane lifts the two and a half thousand tons, which are also included in the name, with a main boom length of about 60 meters. If you then go up to 100 meters, the crane still carries 1700 tons. And at full length, with a hook height of about 200 meters, we have a whole 300 tons that we can lift up there. We then want to use the crane for energy transformation. Not only there, but also in the petrochemical industry, in bridge construction, factory construction, stadium construction, in other words, infrastructure in general. And for the energy transition, we clearly see a focus on offshore wind and loading of components for the offshore wind industry. We have an extremely good feeling. From the inquiries I've seen, we seem to have hit the bullseye in terms of load capacity and also customer demand. Nachfrage beim Kunden. Quite a colossus, eh? Unfortunately, it didn't make it to the trade fair, but now we have a lot more highlights lined up for you. HVO is an acronym that stands for hydrogenated vegetable oils. It is made from vegetable and animal oils and fats. That means that this fuel is also made from waste, such as used cooking oil. The biggest advantage of HVO is most definitely the CO2 reduction that comes with it. Obviously, the more HVO I use and refuel with, the more CO2 I can save. In addition, HVO is very easy to use. It means that when I want to fill up with HVO, I don't even have to perform a conversion. It works with all engine types, so it's very easy. It also reduces soot particle emissions and nitrogen emissions. In Bama, we are showing now the new MK140 4.1. The MK series are so special and are more and more important because uh, the mobile crane rental companies see that the crane are a taxi crane. I mean, they can do every job faster than uh, with a conventional mobile crane. Only one uh, operator can do all jobs. There are a lot of options for, for them and this means that the crane is very profitable. Also, it's important to remember that can be connected electrically. So it's important to reduce noise and, and emissions. When two machines work together hand in hand, there's often talk of a real dream team. We'll now take a look at one in operation on a construction site in Frankfurt, on your site. We are here in Frankfurt, in the Schönhof Viertel. In the near future, a large housing estate is going to be built here, with space for 2,000 flats, plus a primary school and several daycare centers. The aim here is to create a watertight excavation pit on the construction site. Due to the geological situation, we specifically chose Liebherr machines, especially the double-head drilling system. What we do is guide the drill pipe and the auger down to the final depth of the pile in one go. That means that during construction we pump at the same time, in parallel so to speak, until we reach the final position. After reaching the final depth, the pump is started up and concrete is pumped. As soon as the concrete pressure at the front of the starter pipe is right, the pipe is pulled in parallel and the pile is concreted. During the concreting process, the pump transmits the pump strokes to the drilling rig and the onboard computer uses this to determine the quantity pumped. The retraction speed of the drill pipe can be used to determine whether we are, so to speak, over-pulling the pile. 
That means we would get a cavity, or if we pulled back too little, we'd basically be pressing the concrete into the ground. On average, we use about 5 to 6 cubic meters of concrete per pile, and we produce about 25 piles a day with an average length of 8 meters. We've been working with Liebherr for several years now, and so far it has to be said that these machines are very reliable and can be used very economically. But the service or personal contact with Liebherr is actually much more important to us. For changes, adjustments or other things that are close to our hearts, they're always ready to listen. So that makes it very easy for us to work with Liebherr. And it's a whole lot of fun too. Well, the fair's nearly over, and it's time to take a look back. I'm very glad that Stefan Gunther has taken the time to come and see us. He's a member of the board of directors of the Liebherr Group. Mr. Gunther, the last seven days have just flown by. What's your personal take on everything? What I find really exciting is our technology open approach and how we do that. It's been a supreme success. The way it's been applied to all the products is really great. Everyone I've spoken to at this trade fair has been totally enthusiastic about it. And of course, it also applies to our Innovation Award. Monday evening was an absolute highlight. Everyone was really happy and we made a really powerful showing. And I really must thank all the many employees who have contributed towards this achievement. Thanks to everyone who made this possible. What was your personal highlight? Um, my personal highlight was how we were able to inspire everyone. I spoke with a lot of different people, from banks, from huge companies. We have a lot of customers from lots of different countries. And what they're all saying is, Liebherr is incredibly innovative. Liebherr is really future-oriented. Liebherr is open to technology. And Liebherr is fit for the future. Thank you, Stefan Gunther. Thank you. And that was the final edition of our Liebherr Baumer Video Magazine 2022. We've had seven exciting, impressive, thrilling trade fair days, and the Liebherr team really has made the impossible possible on your site. Hope to see you again in three years' time in 2025. Bye! Oh, and now it's time for the traditional sounding of the horns. Very impressive, I have to say. Very nice. I think the Liebherr booth looks fantastic. They were really inspired there. Impressive. Whenever you experience it live like that, it's just unbelievable. If I were a customer right now, I know I'd be talking with real experts. Great weather, great atmosphere. Spring or autumn doesn't matter, main thing is it's here again. If you're not a Leap Air fan yet, you'll certainly be one now. <laughs>